time to wake up. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Your boy Jay Sama is in the building bringing you another video. Um, unfortunately, it is not a Watch Dogs video today. I know, I know, you guys can calm down, calm your clamoring. I promise we will be back to Watch Dogs and other stuff, you know, Overwatch and all the other stuff that we do on this channel. But as of right now, I wanted to share something that I'm a little excited about with you guys. And little is kind of an understatement. We are talking about Final Fantasy 15 today. And not just Final Fantasy 15 in general. We are talking about the five most exciting things about its launch. Now, it's kind of generic, this video I'm making, but these are really things that I wanted to share with people and that I wanted to have a conversation with in my comment section. So, without further ado, let's get started. We're starting with number five. Now, this has been confirmed by multiple different sources, including Square Enix directly themselves, that the game is supposed to have over 200 side missions. Now, I don't know about you guys, but a game that th is this expansive is going to take up so much time of my life. Like, I'm already concerned about how much time Watch Dogs has taken up, how much time uh, Dishonored has taken up of my time, how much time Gravity Rush come January, how much time all these other games, uh, Ghost Recon in February. I I'm just so concerned with the amount of time that I'm going to spend playing each game. I have no idea how to balance that on top of my work, on top of uh, my business that I'm building, on top of just everything going on, including making videos and live streaming and stuff. It's already been super difficult to live stream every day just for Watch Dogs, Dishonored, Overwatch, and whatever else I'm playing. But, you know, hopefully this story actually, you know, um, brings us what we're expecting from Final Fantasy XV. So bringing us to number four on the list, the huge open world. So I spoke on this a little bit for the last one, but the open world is just huge. We don't have any, I I've never seen anybody do any comparisons, whether it be on Twitter or other YouTube videos about how big this map really is. But I imagine it's expansive because there are four main huge cities. I guess you could say they're more like castles. They're so big. Uh, and not to mention all the space in between and all the different things that you can collect. And it's looking like this game is going to be one of those games kind of like, a, almost kind of like a Witcher, where it, the game is so expansive that you just have no hope of finishing everything. Like, it's just not going to happen. Not only that, there are going to be DLC packs that come out, which hopefully expand the game even more, not just with side quests, extra characters, but maybe a little bit more map. We'll see when the game finally comes out. And taking us to number three, we have the new action style combat, which I'm kind of excited for because it reminds me a little bit of Kingdom Hearts, uh, which is one of my probably like favorite games of all time, honestly. One of them. I, I have tons of favorite games, actually. But this new fighting style seems really, really fun. It's extremely fast paced. I've seen a lot of people say it's almost nauseating how fast it is, which, hey, man, I'm really looking forward to it. Bring on the challenge. Like, the... Previous fighting systems have always been either turn-based or uh, AP-based, like Final Fantasy 13: Lightning Returns, where you had to wait for a certain meter to charge before you could use an ability or before you could use a certain attack. So I'm glad that this is not in this version of the game, like it's not in there. But of course, there's always the options menu that you can go to and you can turn on the wait mode so that way everything is kind of turn-based and you can attack multiple enemies at the same time in a little bit more uh, less chaotic fashion, I guess you could say. Which brings me to uh, number two, the arcane summonings. Now, these are the giant goddamn summonings that you guys are seeing in every single trailer. Now, these these things, apparently you unlock every single one depending on how you encounter them in the world. My favorite so far has been the Leviathan. The Leviathan just seems like he's such a savage, like, it's the fact, except for the fact that you have to be near water to summon him, so maybe he's not my favorite. I, I don't know, I'm still looking at some of them. There's one that looks like the Colossal Titan, I'm just like, yo, what is going on in this game? These things are just huge, like, it is ridiculous how overpowered you can be in the game once you acquire these summonings, so I'm very interested to see what other ones that there are. I think we've only seen probably like five or six arcane summonings, and uh, hopefully there's going to be tons more. I at least want like 10 or 12, you know, we'll, we'll see. And of course, we have to see Bahamut. Like, I want to see Bahamut. That is probably the 
most iconic summing by Bahamut and Ifrit are probably the two most iconic ones to me personally in the Final Fantasy series. So hopefully those are going to be unlockable in the game. And now the number one reason, and I put this as the last one because it is actually the most important. It is the biggest one. And I, I kid you not, like when you really think about it on the grand scale of all the things that you could really think about, about what is the biggest thing that makes you most excited about this game coming out number one it is finally coming out like it is ridiculous i know as 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 terrible as that sounds like jay why is that number one that doesn't make any sense it's finally coming out guys this game has been in development since early 2006 10 years ago i was seeing screenshots of this game when it was versus 13 or versus 14 i can't remember uh when it changed titles three times i was in high school when i saw screenshots of this game coming out and it was supposed to be exclusively for the ps3 so please excuse my excitement of how blatantly excited i am that this game is finally coming out i finally get to enjoy what has seemed like to be one of the most hyped games of my generation i guess you could say of, of my uh existence really so there has not been a game that has been more hyped than this game uh just seeing the multiple screenshots gameplay characters things like that although i'm a little disappointed in the characters that they have shown i was hoping there was going to be a little bit more female interaction with a lot of the characters but we'll, whatever we'll we'll see just the time span the 10 years of work that has gone into this game the numerous name changes just I, it is all built up to this point that makes this game so exciting and so I'm just so anticipating it like I'm just really excited and we're less than a week away hopefully I can get an early copy if not whatever no big deal I'll, I'll just play as I go but then is this has been it this is the top five most exciting reasons that this game is launching like I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any other exciting like things that you guys want to state let me know down in the comment section make sure to give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you guys are new <laughs> and make sure to check back tomorrow when i upload another video but happy holidays to you guys i know it's thanksgiving for a lot of us here in america and for you guys who don't necessarily uh celebrate thanksgiving or anything else on this particular time of the year happy holidays to you guys anyway and whatever holiday that you celebrate this has been your boy just jay sama and i will catch you guys next time make sure to keep it canning Ha 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 ha!